I got on stage. Right. Instrumental ikaekwa crowd ika cheesy. Imetesa kutesa. Ah, instrumental ni at OK ya Galiwa lead. Right. Ah. Chris ni nani? Jesus the fire who helps me yak. Eh, my best desire. Eh, hey, crowd ime jam. <laughs> Watu wamebambika. Eh, hey, nikasikia tu DJ akanyonga ngoma. Mimi nikasema kwani nini? Si mimi najua mystery often. Tuendelee. Tuendelee vas bala. <laughs> Nikasikia tu maboys wamekuja nyuma wamezima wame mic. Nikashiko juju nikatolewa. <laughs> Kutoka so, stage. Nilitolewa. Nilibebo juju na mabonzo. So that was my first experience as a gospel artist. Well, a very, very warm welcome to the Goldmine Show. You know we love to bring this show to you. You know we love to spend, uh, to spread some inspiration out there. Because the greatness inside of us requires nature. It requires just to be encouraged to keep going, man. And that's exactly why we do the Goldmine Show. Want to encourage you to follow us on the Goldmine Show on Facebook, on Instagram, as well as Insta and, and, and in YouTube as well. We're coming to you straight up from, like, keep your coordinates right here in, like, in, 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 in what do you call this? place in kilele shwa my friend my friend i think ni ni mejibamba yangu yote man that's that's what it is man that's what it is now today's show is a big show my friend we bring to you a five times groove award winner my friend i don't know whether there are too many who are in that league man but the gold mine show brings them to you without taking in more time i want to bring to you chris <laughs> And, and, and I'll start by stating why even we do the Goldman show. Okay. We, we do it because many people look at Chris A. Baba. Mm-hmm. And I think Chris Aliyanguka Kalandia Mali Yuko. Yes. He was smooth sailing all the way. Ma groove award after groove award. Zinakuja tu. And na zitaendelea ku come to. Amen. And by the congratulations on the five man. That's a big deal. It's a blessing. It's a big deal, my it's friend. It's a blessing. Inamaanisha impact. It's a blessing. Mm-hmm. It's an affirmation. Yes. It's a it's a dream come true. Right. And um, also it's an inspiration to others that it's possible. Right. Hata kwa umetoka ghetto. Kabisa. Yes. Sir. Kabisa. Yeah. Kabisa. Man, it's a big deal. I don't know how many I would say niko na tano. I think there are less many. than less than 4. Less than 4. Uh, less than 4. Whoa. It has to be I think Daddy Owen. Right. And timeless Noel Najabidi, because there's a groove award they took like six, I think. Right. They took like six awards in one one night. So, right. Uh, besides that, I think I'm the one following after that. Boss. Uh, Manze ni gold. Na tuko na kwa gold mine, my friend. Gold mine, my friend. Ume wa. Na kumbi uko sito. Na toka yani na iPhone. Manze na toka tu life me change. Ime change tu kabisa tu. But I love it, man. Thank you for having me. Right. Um. I think this is the first interview I'm doing in for I think the last three years. Wow. I had taken time off from right. media, from anything that looks like public public eye. Yep. And uh, it's a blessing to be back. Yep. Just to share about life, right. about the journey. Right. About music. Right. 
about the inspirations, right. about the good things, Correct. the highs and the lows of right. it all. Right, yeah. And that's why so we're it's here. a blessing, man. That's why we're here. And I want to say we are so honored that we would be the first one after three years. Yes, it's a blessing, break, man. man. It's a blessing. Yeah? It had to be here, man. Oh, thank Gold you, man. Gold man. measure. <laughs> you guys. It's a blessing, man. And of course, we'll go down to the why you took a break for, for some time off media and all of that stuff. Okay, okay. okay. But, Chief, the, the, the making of the kind of journey you have taken... Mm. Is, is, is certainly one that requires a lot of determination and a lot of resilience and all of that stuff. Yes, and, and I just want to go back really to your journey. I, 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 I'm told you started off as a dancer, man. Hey, I, I, I think this is the first time I'm going to tell about my journey. Go basically. ahead, bro. Go ahead. I've, bro. I've never taken time to share uh, where I came from, right. what, uh, how I grew up, right. the right. things that made me who I am. Right. Uh, right. Uh, so this will be the first time. Let's go for it, Baba. Yes, sir. Twanzi Api, Twanzi Lilianza. Let's go right back to where it all began. Where? Place your first one, Nika Wimbo, or my first No, 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 no. Your life journey. Let's just take your life journey. journey. Oh, Chris, ni born from a family of four. Right. Uh, I have a big brother. Mm-hmm. I have a small brother and the last born way to his sister. Right. Um, it's a blessing. Right. Uh, we grew up from Kariako, right. Grogon, Grogon, right. Kibera, uh, Kuhamahama, Tuyani, uh, Ngara, Kiambu, right. Tukarudi Ngara, Alafsandio, Tukahamia, Pandeza Gidurai, right. Kahawa West. Right. So that's where uh, family me the last uh, 20 years. In the right for the last 20 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. So, right. so basically, 44. 44. 44. 44. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh-huh. so, what I respect, My big so answer. much talent, mm. Uko Ivo, mm. and uh, so many creatives. Right. Yes, sir. So, primary, Ukatapia Uko. Primary, Ukatapia Shuleflani Kongara, in it was Riverbank Primary School. Right. Apo, Tulikwa Tunatua, only three kinds of people. Kwa Tunatua Wakora, Tulikwa Tunatua Makanga. Number two. Na madingo. <laughs> <laughs> yani huko ili kwa tu ni kijiji ya wajani. You know basically it's because iko, iko ngara yeah. karibu na grogon. Right. So anytime there used to be like a riot. Right. Uh, tuseme jamu wa mestrike. Yep. Ama kuna mahoka wa natolombio na masanse. Yep. Watu walikuwa lapikia shule yetu. <laughs> so what happened is we guys had to get accustomed to tear gas. Right. Me my first tear gas has, I got... Uh, tulipata i think to class 3 oh no ilitupo daro no man so una get used to e life ya tao life ya jiji class life ya rai class ya 10 years bana ah, buda buda inaitwa river bank uko unatoka gukua strong man umeanza kuikunywa ah so mbaya wow. so it's a, it's a, it's a journey so uko ndio nilisomea primo mm-hmm. um seko ju tukiwa ngara tulikuwa tukutu sana mm. Tulikuwa tumeshaanza kujuana na ma mashimo shimo nini nini. Uh-huh. I think mapero akaona eh hey, vijana wetu wanapotea. <laughs> <laughs> so hiyo ndio the first time tulirushwa huko maocha ocha. <laughs> Tulihamia side za West when akukwa kumejengwa. Right. The only like big companies there were two. Kulikuwa na Farmers Choice to your left. Yep. And to your right is committee prison. <laughs> <laughs> so ni wewe wa mwetu place unataka kuenda ila enda right ila right ama left msee uko katikati tu na mbogo tu si unaona wafungu ndio wale wanakata nyasi wanachimba mawe nini nini alafu sasa unaonyeshwa hustle bana so it's it, it got to that point where we had to move from the city because right. we guys were heavily influenced right. by the city right. i remember by the time my big bro was in class 8 alikuwa na shikado kushinda budangu whoa eh Aji. Hustle bana. Uko Nairobi bana. Nairobi unaonyeshwa shimo, unaonyeshwa nini? So my bro is really talented in calligraphy. Right. So he was part of the people who are doing cut skill. Right. And uh cut skill were the guys who are painting number 9s, Mamat. Right. Na 58. Right. And also there's a group called Banita Sounds. Walikuwa wanatengeneza matenge za matatu, unajua? Right. right. So my bro in a day used to make like 5 Gs. Your job to you. Yeah. Anaenda na paka paka rani. 5 Gs mtu wa class 8. Sasa yeye ni sini do mob sana for his age. Sayo budana ingia kwa kija na tao tatu ama tao mbili. What? So I I uh, my shajiji. Kani kuambia buda hata ni kwa college. Manze buda. Ni kwa college. Ile ile ndula na chapa buda. <laughs> <laughs> so life yetu ni mimi nimegrow around wajanje. Right. Nimegrow around uh wasawapoa. Mhm. 
but pia wasesi wapo wasi they have to do what they have to do right. to get through life and i must say well done and riverbank uh, the three categories walikuwa natoa you uli, uli apuka, any of those three back brackets man <laughs> but uh, it's a it's a it's a journey it's which a journey. which means while well, the default is that setting you don't have to it's, end up that way it's yes yes it's it's one of those things that i believe where you really have to be keen on your environment right cuz this is yet is it will go by my my mother is a pasi right so sunday yes to go church right but ni kutoka 8 hadi 12 right after hapo vijana wameenda sisi tulikuwa f2 tulikuwa place flani tao shimo inaitwa popin ndio kwa unajua popin eh najua popin pale kwa makasino ni ah wewe ni member wewe ni unajua ni dada wewe ni member wewe so like um maisha ya jiji si tulikuwa tumeshafundishwa ku hustle kabisa ku hustle 247 right yeah. right mm. so mkaenda ka west eh yeah, so hiyo ndio ilikuwa i think me hiyo ndio kitu iliniokolea kwa mm-hmm. zenye unlike my bro my bro used to get cash na na spend he's the flashy one mimi ni msilent so mimi nilikuwa shikado but unaangalia gatu watu unachorea uh, unachorea tu game tu nini nini so right. it's a, it's a blessing that to get ku, ku move right. at that specific time right yeah, yeah. ilikuwa sort kiasi eh ili tu ili tu unajua uko saa kwenye tulienda ilikuwa ni ocha ocha kawes my friend your time yep ilikuwa ni mashamba tu bad development as it was ah iko imefika iko imefika kabisa lakini hiyo on one side unaona farmers choice ah on one side una una cheki kuna makarao alafu ile pande nyingine unaona mangurwe makazi na nini but it's a it's a blessing to right. that was my childhood growing up right. uh, one of the stories i normally tell was when you listen in you inspire sana mimi naambia ni poverty right because because i remember there's one of the you know those things that happened in your childhood that you can't forget right there was this time i was sleeping over at my aunties to kwa kibira mm. i was sleeping over at my aunties mm. and uh Wajua kibira tulikuwa synonymous na flying toilets. Yes. I think you know to almost everyone. Uh, especially back then it was really bad. Right. So there was this day mtu nikaa alitupa kitu mbaya manzi. Ile kitu ilikuwa hey. Ah ile kitu ilikuwa mbaya bana. <laughs> Alafu sasa usiku kulinyesha bana. So na imagine tu ilikuwa tu inamwagika kwa doa Ay. nini nini. The next day mimi si juu juu ilitoka wapi? Juu ilikuwa kali. So nyumba yote. So some of these situations inspired inspire me never to go Yo back to that place. Eh, hey, how is it? Some of these situations inspire me to never want to go back to a certain kind of life. Right. There's a certain quote I heard last week by yep. many bamba sana mm. ilikuwa inasema the best thing you can do to poor people is not to be one of them. Wow. Because you'll be in a position to help. Right. Una get. So right. it has always been my desire to always conquer any mountain I'm on. Right so that i can always go back to help where i can right yes sir. right right so um, you went and, and that's a very profound one the best thing you can do to the poor is not to be one among them yeah at least you're able to help at least you're able but now when everyone is poor yep. you can't tell right at least be the one to step out and then come back you know they say in, in the country of the blind yes sir the one guy who has one eye is the king among all of ah. them ah ah <laughs> deep <laughs> Dude, uh, just one eye guy. Gold mine. Yeah, Bana. Gold mine. Like get my tips <laughs> up and in. Kabisa, iko hivyo tu. Iko but but also, you know, uh, one time I actually had this conversation with ask uh, do we are we running towards wealth? Are we running away from poverty? And it's been an interesting question. Oh. Because then uh, it sounds like a lot of us actually are running away from poverty and in the process then wealth comes along. Okay. Because mm. when you remember nice where you came from, una sema, "Eh, hey, your place is like kurudi your place." Yeah, I think I think but it depends on where you are at in life. Eh? Right. Because there's a there's a in a depend to na mindset yako. Unaweza kwa hiyo mindset yenye na toroka. Mm. Sitaki ku hustle stories are rent ten. Mm. Na pia unaweza kwa kwa ile mindset ya I'm trying to scale up. Mm. Now if you're scaling up your business or uh, your enterprise, mm. that's when you're going towards wealth. Going towards wealth. Yeah. But right. if you're running from poverty, right. ni ile time yenye unaangalia eh, sasa hapa hapa kabisa it can be better right yes sir right so ka west kwa tap high school uko hapa mm. but tukisteka west eh ndio i think mokoro tu alikuwa anaona ubo ubo anapotea ubo hizi mashimo zinyana jiingiza hapa hizi mageri 
So what happened is uh, nilitupo kwa high school flani ilikuwa mbali. Ilikuwa inaitwa Kerogo Boys in Muranga County. Ah, wewe unajua. Wewe unajua si Muranga County. Nilitupo Kerogo Boys right. when it was Kerogo Boys. Right. Hizo siku if you got an expel from Kerogo Boys Hakuna shule nge kuchukua. Ume balala na shule. Atu ni shule. Ulifukuza shule gani? Kiroko umeshidwa na wewe. I remember let me tell you a story. I yep. remember the first day. Unachukile siku ya kwanza ya admission na nini? Yep. Si tumeingia mamono. Oh, oh. Yep. Tumeenda pale kwa admission block. Yep. Tume tumekalishwa hapo tunagojea Alikuwa anaitwa Jo Umse wa kuweka do baza. Baza eh. Tunagojea baza na nini? Mm. Tukona kimtu kimepita. Kimejam amepita ame amenani stude amepita tu amepanda huko juu tuko na ameshuka tunamwangalia tu akaenda pande ya nyuma ya kitchen uh, una zinaita go squeegee ama mm-hmm. squeeze yeah squeeze akavunja squeegee hapo hivyo akatoka na hiyo mti akakuja akapanda juu alinyorosha deputy bwana <laughs> nani student so that was my first experience na kirogo wow day one kwa admission block hata hujaingizwa Unaona depa ametoka mbio anakimbizwa na stude. What? Ziboko. Hata uwezi mstop sasa kama so sisi we guys found the last breed of the bad boys. Right. We guys found the last breed of bullying. Right. The last breed of mafom for wakubwa kushinda hata mamode wenyu. Right. <laughs> so mamode hata wanapigwa mabare hivi <laughs> unajua. But it, it was a it was a learning experience because right. me nilikuwa nimetoka place ya urui sana. Right. Alafu unafika place una, unapata huko ni mabuda kabisa. Fomfu anakuambia mono unatoka huko mbio unakuja hadi hapa. So that was my first experience in Kirogo. Right. Uko ndio nilisomea form 1, form 2. Right. Uh, form 3 ndio tuka shift nikakuja Parklands. Right. So I finished my form 4s at Parklands Boys. Fantastic. Yes, Fantastic. Sir. But th- this whole environment then how how what impact did it have on who you also became thereafter? I think um I'm a unique person in this sense. Eh? Uh, I don't have to learn from my experiences. Right. I'm one of those people where I learn even from my friends. Correct. Unajua if you come and tell me, "Eh hey, manzi, nilikuwa na biashara fulani nilifanya na mse fulani, lakini huyu mse amenitoka do." Right. So for me, I will learn never to work with that dude. Right. Amekutoka do. Kabisa. Get? Kabisa. So I am one of those people. I learn from my experiences and right. from people's experiences. Right. So what happened is when I went to Kirogo Boys, mm and i saw how everything was i think i became mellow right nika katulia nika tone down right. so nikaanza ku learn from vitu zina happen mm. and it was so much such that by the time ilifika form 1 third term nilikuwa entertainment captain wow form 1 how na niko form 1 right but it's because shule ni makrooks to the point where hakuna mtu reliable So wanaangalia ule msempoa ule ametulia ndio anapatiwa kizu za entertainment mwenye atakuwa analeta ma sound na TV na nini right. unajua right. So uh, I think from your point nikaanza ku take responsibility mm. uh, nika kwa entertainment captain form 1 alafu nika form 2 pia unajua tu mm. na tuko kwa captain mm. When I shifted from Kirogo to Parklands me I thought story zangu na makapu ime imeisha, imeisha. Mm. nothing mm. Second term, mm. third term, mm. tuko wa form 3 second term, nikae kwa captain bado. And this is a new school. Though. New school sijaka more than six months. Right. And I was made a captain too. But your character is the same even in this new environment. So it's 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 shifting mm. uh, because of the people I'm around, mm. but at the same time I'm still soaking in. I'm learning from people, I'm learning on what to do, what mm. not to do. Mm. Uh, and I think when yetu niliingia tu nini paki. Mm. Cause pia paki si hati nilipata iko poa mm. pia paki ni get ile time tulikuwa tunachapa marayo tuna jamu mm. uh, tulikuwa ma boys but still atukwa tunaonana eye to eye mm. juu ya sister school of course <laughs> tulikuwa tunaona ngara girls nzee na sama tupigane tu rosaf but anyway right. um, so it's uh, i think for me i just took started taking responsibility right uh. you started with way early Yes, yes. Didn't allow the external environment to impact your inside. Yes, and also observing and trying to bring solutions to right, stuff. Right, yeah. Right. So si ati nilikuwa na kuwa kapuju napenda kuwa captain, mm. but I was becoming a captain because I was seeing a lot of things that I can do better mm. and I can change some things. Yeah. Yeah, that mindset uh, is not very common. 
Okay. Because and if you think about it, uh, a lot of those other students did not think that way. Oh. And uh, high school is a place of a lot of peer pressure. Yes, sir. And not just high school. Like, in fact, I think life is generally has a lot of peer pressure. It's true. There's going to be a certain mindset that allows you to be in an environment that is of that nature, but you're not like them. It's true. It's true. It's and true. the question is, how are you able to nurture that out, man? I mean, uh, it's, it's interesting just to know how you nurture that out. I think it's a, it's a choice. There are, you can be part of the problem or part of the solution. Mm -hmm. There's no in the middle mm -hmm. when it comes to life. So... Mm -hmm. I have always tried to find solutions for so any environment I'm on, basically. Mm. So even when I came to the industry, mm. one of the things that I had a lot of trouble when starting my music career is mm. there were no mentors. Si tu likuja tukapata master. So, akukwa na, msena kwambi hii mziki, tunafanya gaivi enda studio. Unajua? My first experience with studio right. was in high school. When I was in Form 2, Nikuwa Kirogo. Right. I used to write a lot of raps, right. but they weren't gospel. Right. So, in short, me si kuanza as a gospel artist. All right. Tell us about it. Man. Because of when you nilikuwa show, Sunday Zetu zilikuwa ga, uh, 8 to 12, tuko church. Pop in. Alafu, after hapa ni pop in, ama F2. Right. And I get, so, right. I had a double life back right. then. And what this did is, um, I used to get a lot of excitement mm. to, uh, to uh, F2. Do mm. jam session? Tulikuwa mm. tunajiita East Landos. Tulikuwa na ngome inaitwa East Lando Anthem. Ah, tulikuwa tunavuruga. Mbaya. Alafu mimi nilikuwa mso araga. Right. Ya gaje mfanya wida. Ah, tulikuwa tunavuruga mbaya sana. But that can really happen ni um I used to write a lot of raps back right. then. Za raga. And I remember there was this half term. So, so we alianza kuandika form 2. Form 2. Kuziandika. Kuziandika. We when you mna kujanga half term 2 mnasema eh wacha nikatafute studio. Mm. The only big studios that were there was Calif mm -hmm. and uh, Ogopa. Mm -hmm. So I remember nilitembea ga hadi South. Ilikuwa South B ama South C. South, South B. South B. South B. Ndio tulienda nilienda hadi Ogopa kangu. Mm -hmm. mm. Kafkoko kwa gate na nuka jasho mbae. Kutoka ngara. Uwe. Aha. Juu hiyo time tulikuwa tunaste nini. Nini kahawes. Right. So ni transi ya dita yao. Alafu na trek. Una trek the rest. Eh. Alafu toke so, uko. So mini lishuki angara. Mm -hmm. Jubeste yangu ndi alikuwa na juwa pali ogopa hiko. Misi juu. Mm -hmm. So hiyo ndi alikuwa nipele. Ya kupeleke. Nipeleke. So mm -hmm. tulishuka ngara. Mm -hmm. Kanza kutrek. Tukapasuli ya pale railways. Ile ka bridge. Kale ka bridge. Right. Tukachapa hivyo kagua hadi South B. Mm. I remember the first experience nilifika wakaniangalia. Wakasema, eh, eh, unaroganga, eh. <laughs> Kambia, eh, mini msani. <laughs> Tukaniambe, eh, bu, chapa mistari kidogo tusikie. Eh, mini nani. By the way, mii ukwa nimejia mini. Kabisa. Eh, okay, uh. hey, nimezi, rusha bala. Ah, fire dams, vi nini, eh. Kaniambe, eh, inaweza. We fanya hivyo, bu, ingia pale kwa booth. Alafu ufanya tu. Kenya tu umefanya. Ingia tu pale ndani ufanya hivu. Hmm. E, nika ingia mimi uyo uyo. Nika dirusha. Uh. Yeah. Energy, fire. Alafu nika toka. Nika niangale hivi. Nika nimewe fanya hivi. Eh? Uh, ngoma ni 25,000. Uh, Juko shule. Endo kuja na 12,000. Alafu ye ingini utalipo. Kimaliza. Uki third term. Uki rudi third term. Kuja na yu ingini. Right. Kama mbia sawa inaweza manze na shukuru wa sandeni. Right. So mini lenda home ni kijuliza. Eh, 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 eh. 25,000. 25,000. Iyo ni pesa hata suja hii yola. Musiki anga. Tusui ya ndikatu kwa mao. Kifanya maesabu. Ati kwa mao. Sui ya ndikatu kwa mao kifanya maesabu. Ojui ya hata relationship na 25,000. Right. But nakumbuka ni kianda home. The reason why I was telling you this story is because uh, when you nili rudi third term. Right. Nika find msani flani alifanya ngomo ugopa. Hame kavas tu yangu yote. Ah. Unakumuke yovas nilinge pale nika freestyle. Pale kwa ile booth? Yes. Kumbe producer nika alifanya ga record ama something. O, o msani ali copy paste. Oh no. Vas yangu yote. Oh no. Ili ni uma mabwe wangu wa chuo wana nimbe. Christian ni ile vas ulifanya oh, tenia no. entaso. Like everyone in Kirogo knew that is my vas. But sasa ikanza kuka nika mindo nili copy. Jushanza kucheza Sina kwa cheza marezo na kila mbuna. Studio ni kubwa bana. Yonde otaimu wali kwa na dominance kwa industry. You know, get. And what, uh, that thing had two effects in me. First of all, there's a time I felt as if nikani meibiwa. Because I'm an upcoming artist. You know, right. Get. 
but after some time it became when you make sure I'm a problem solver right it can hit ah if song yangu vas yangu inaweza chezo hivi hata mimi naweza nina nina kitu right so i continued writing nini nini and i got saved on the form 3 sasa right so when i got saved ndio nikasema let me try and write gospel now. right mm. right Oh no. So now the guys did you ever go back to to the studio to find out how come my music is playing out there? Never. Or you are still too young. Never because Pia 25 to inatoka tena wale ni mabazu wale ni wasa wamesha make it una get. Tena unapiga tu hiyo hesabu mimi nitoke Kaha West nifike hadi town nitembe tena hadi so ah. I think I just saw it as a whole nini kasema tu ni sawa. Hiyo story ukaimalizia hapo. Mm. And then back then unajua Juya usanil nilikuwa na moto i think i had three books mm. of rhymes mm. so mistari ni mingi so hata wakati bavas miko akili yangu nilikuwa sema ah niko na verses zingine moto hata kushinda ile ya kwanza right. i get right. uh, but it's it's an experience for me and uh, i think every part of my journey i've been learning right. learning and unlearning right. at the same time right. yeah because that was a learning point for me i learned right. that um, whatever i write has power because this song mini upcoming na inachezwa kwa radio already You know, it's a big deal when you say I'm in form 2 na nasikia ngoma zangu zikichezwa out there man. Verse ndio hiyo inachezwa. But sasa utafanya nini? <laughs> so form 3 you get saved. Yeah. And you decide now you you'll change this towards gospel. Nili get saved be weird sana. Nilikuwa mm-hmm. club. Mhm. Nilikuwa F2. Ilikuwa imeshika mbaya na Jam session ni Mamorio ilikuwa imeshika mbaya. Aha. Uh-huh. Kwa na makuzo. Alafu Unajua mimi mwambia mtu time yako ya kuokoka ikifika imefika. Mm. Always it toroka. You mm. can't force it on mm. someone. Mm. Cuz hata mimi sia nilikuwa nimepanga kuokoka. Mm. Unajua? Mm. I think everything just slowed down like a movie. Mimi niko na tu kila kitu me, me slow down. Morio wangu mmoja alikuwa ameshazushia na uko na bouncer alikuwa amengolewa meno. <laughs> before <laughs> tu ingi, before tu ingia alikuwa amengolewa meno. Angalia huku watu wanafanya sijui nini pale kuna boy wangu ame knockout. And I think your moment ndio nilisikia tu kitu. Hii ni God too obviously. Nisikia show me your friends. Mm. And I'll show you who you, you are. are. So for me niliangalia situation niko. Nikakumbuka kwenye nimetoka. Nikasema I think I can do better. Mm. Si kusema I'm better. Mm. Sema tu I can do better with mm. life yangu. Mm. Nili walk off F2 ilikuwa around 5:30. Nikaenda kwa church ya pastor anaitwa Apostle Martin Suna. Martin Suna, yes. Nikaenda tu direct kwake. Mm. Nikamwambia yeye anataka kuokoka. Ulijipeleka? Eh? Yeah. Nikaombewa, nikasema asante. Nikateremka mtaani. Since then, that changed your life kabisa. Never look. Mimi sikuwa sikuwa tina maupako, sijui anointing, sijui nini. Ah, it was a personal choice. That's why I always tell people like it's it's something really personal. You you don't have to force someone. Uh, if someone is ready then it's okay, that's time. Mm. Mm. In a flow too. Yeah, so since up even ndio nikaanza kuandika ngoma gospel. Mm. Mm. From four, I was writing my gospel raps. But back then because sa studio ni 25 tau what happened is miss kuweza kwenda studio mm. but my big bro since alikuwa concordi 44 mm. mm. alikuwa anakuja na CD mm. ziko na na matape ziko na my instrumentals za kina TOK you know those guys wa kitambo kina mm. Bujubanton mm. Bini man mm. so what happened is i used to write my lyrics now using instrumentals za kina TOK sasa ma secular mm. So I remember my first gig uh, as an artist. Mm. Nilienda show ya kanisa fulani inaitwa Kaha Baptist Church. Right. Nika, nikaomba chance. Kristo amesema anataka kuimba. Yep. My boys are many church about But then no one has ever heard me rap. Right. But now since ni okoke my circle is different. Right. See, ume change hata my base sasa. Si ndio sasa ina change to automatic. Right. So kapati wa chance ngambo next on stage cream yeah! but i had many times right. kuna time nilikuwa nimejiita termite kuna time nimejiita slime out hey. wewe acha na hizo na na hiyo nyingine nayo ni gani termite was the worst kati ya zingine mbili je kati ya mbili termite slime 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 ni julikuwa nime watch ghostbusters sana R- right uh, but uh, i got on stage right instrumental ikae kwa crowd ikachizi 
imetesa kipesa ah, instrumental ni at ok ya galiwalid right ah. chris ni nani jesus the fire who helps me yak eh hey, my best desire eh hey, crowd ime jam watu wamebambika eh hey, nikasikia tu dj atanyonga ngoma mimi nikasema kwani nini si mimi najua mystery often twendele twendele vas bala <laughs> nikasikia tu maboys wamekuja nyuma wamezima wame mic nikashiko juju nikatolewa <laughs> kutoka stage so, nilitolewa nilibebo juju na mabonzo so that was my first experience as a gospel artist oh uh-huh. nilichujo church so nilitoka nje na mauchungu na sema ah, watu wa kanisa hawa hata afadhali nirudi huko F2 na Iceland of Santa miliko inatesa hata kushinda instrumental unajua uh-huh. but i had a lot of bitterness your time And then I was So kuchota kwa nini? I'll tell you. Good. And then since I hadn't like uh, given myself enough time to uh, learn about Christianity, mm. I was still using profane words. Right. Okay. So nilitujo church but ni kwa tu hapo nje na watu kana. Watu kana mimi nimrui sasa watu kana tu hapo tunasema kwende huko. Alafu ndio one of these guys from our hood, very soft spoken dude. Mm swag mbaya mm. ubo ana swag mbaya mm. alikuwa anachapa ma track suits and then you remember zile ma t-shirt za ma jersey ya kina 50 cent walikuwa na vibe back mm. then zile mm. kubwa kabisa eh hey, oversize huku kabisa alikuwa anadunga hizo ame relax nyole ana earrings kakuja kaniambia hey, bro niaje nimesikia una roga gospel eh ah, nice nice uh, but first au fake kutu, kutuka na watu so acha nao kwanga mm. tu hivyo wewe fanya hivi eh mm. Uh, tunaweza pata na kesho naenda studio mm. kama tuonge. Mm. Mimi nika relax tu yani. Nikarudi kwa crowd kuona watu wakitesa tu mimi nimejaa muko back. <laughs> <laughs> What people don't know is that person was Magic Mike. Wow. That's the dude we did I I with. Right. And that's Kitambo, that's 205. Right. That's 205. So What happened is the next day I went to studio to kanda na gig the right mm. tulikuwa na studio tulikuwa tunaenda in it was hood stuff right and I recorded my first song ever with Magic Mike mm. wow yeah so that that was my first that must journey. have been such a moment for you man that was the journey cuz ima 25th hour ime kutoka yote haipatikani finally now you in a studio <sighs> what was that moment like for you man It was it was a dream come true. I know man. It was a dream come true because I had more than Unakumbuka zile kitabu za high school zile kubwa eh? Im... Yes. Zile A inaitwa A1 na mazi inaitwa nini? Hizo size kubwa. Right. A4. A4. Right. I had three of them full of lyrics. Umeziandika kuziandika. So ngoma si shida, shida ni studio. <laughs> Una get. And finally a guy is now walking you to the studio. Sasa niambia ni haje kama unieke verse. So we did a song called Jesus that was the first song I ever placed my vocals on. Right. And the funny thing is Jesus was played on radio three times. We had it three times. Alafu ka disappear equate. Equate as what now. Ika kwa ndio hivyo. But see sasa I think my life I always tell people my life is always um, has a lot of confirmations. Right. And that was a confirmation for me that mm. yeah, yeah. on the right track. Right. Umechezwa kwa radio. Yeah, umechezwa. Na tuko Gedorai Ghetto. Bana. Magic Mike used to stay your family all walikuwa wametoka Soweto. Right. Is a ghetto uko sasa past farmers choice ni ito Sowe. Right. Sowe ni ile gang manze. Ndio ile. Yeah. So you can imagine sisi ni wasa wa ghetto si tume tunachezwa kwa radio. Na wase na wase wana record kwa tape. Unataka utakamu sikize unajua? So it was a blessing son right. that was my first experience right yeah. right so right. i know i know there's a lot of uh, a lot of people watch your show right and uh, a lot of upcoming artists watch your show correct so it's a journey bro see stay it's a journey man that must have been a long one and especially umeziandika by the time una jaza a4 vitabu mbili Mm. My rhymes lakini ka kitu ka ku record ndio aka kana kucheza share and I always tell people one thing I've never written a work song right never all my songs are good hata niende wimbo yenye nili record 2013 mm. I can still play it and you'll hear some excellence in it kabisa because it's a, it's a, I, I am not many things but I am a creative right I am not many things I'm not a business person right. as such 
uh, but I'm a creative, I'm a good creative. Right. So I believed in my songs since day one. Right. They were good. Right. Yes. And you know, it's very important for you to know who you are and who you're not. It's so that good. then you find your space. Yes. And thrive in your space. And who you are not is equally as important Absolutely. as who you are. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So then your recording journey started there. Right. Yeah. Right. Back then, I'll go to Acha to show me. But he was he was the dude, he was the realest. Alikwa number one in our hood. Right. He was the kingpin. Right. Skele ki kwendos ni evil man. Tosa. Ah ome make. Ume topoa. Ome make. Kabisa. Yo pande yagi the right foot four. Right. Zima ni ni alikwa nai control. Kabisa. Yali kwanga na inga gigu na ske jizi wetu wa mefika ba. Wonde um se. But it's it's a it's a blessing because I got to learn a lot from him. Right. I think from each other because I I always have a drive of myself. Right. I'm always a creative on my own right. self. Right. I found him doing a lot of hip hop rap rap. Right. Min kakujatu na zangu apo so yeah kakuwa na culture shock. Right. But it's a it's a learning thing. Right. I always hear people say my first song is a baba, but it's not. For before, the longest I thought it is. Before A Baba, there were like nine or twelve songs. What? Yes, with Magic Mike. Nine to twelve songs before A Baba. Yes, yes. How did you keep writing them when we weren't getting them? Sasa see you the encouragement. If you are an artist at home and your songs are not playing anywhere and you're not making it, it's a process. It's a journey. Usikufe moya tiju ngoma moja ijahit or nini. In fact, it's a lesson I. Uh, I had to instill in myself never put too much trust on one song. Mm. Cuz una mean young guy song mm. in your heat. Jun ato una i feel. Ah, ingoma ni heat kabisa. Unaende ina ina eh. Ina cheza ngo tu once. Baba na ina saulika. Sasa utakuwa unaicheza kwa nyumba tu. Hata ina. Unaji enjoy peke yako. Bas. So it's it's a it's a it's a long journey and right. it's a process. I remember by the time I was doing e baba I took one year off. Mm. from recording from doing anything i was just praying writing mm. and uh just trying to find a way out because i was tired i was tired when you have like 12 songs eh and they are not bad songs every song is dope mm. when in mm. i've never done a work song mm. when you're listening to all those dope songs and you're asking yourself eh hey, ni nini nafanya mbaya we used to go to events to napigwa makofi na wale watu tu wame to invite mm. the three people who know us mm. you know, mm. crowd to me nyamaze na kuangalia and i took time off to understand myself and uh, just to find something different and i remember one one of those days it was a calm saturday evening tulikuwa tu kwa nyumba sitting room tumejifunge na boy wangu anaitwa mutua mm. mutua is a kamba as you can tell by the name yes but then Mutua mm. use since back then alikuwa anatumia ukamba kwa ngoma zake. Mm. So when he's rhyming alikuwa na roga anasema asimbulo wacha nikujoe we unajua. So it was really interesting just hearing that kamba influence in his music nini nini. So out of the freestyles I think we had locked ourselves in that room for like 4 hours, 3 or 4 hours. Mm. Out of is of freestyle from nowhere nikachapa tu hele yo. Ah tukaangaliana uwe you wreck a moment. Iko kitu hapo. Kabal. Hello yo, hello yo. Eh, yo kora sikaweza. So that's how we wrote A Baba. Right. If you listen to A Baba, the only Maasai thing iko hapo. Ero Yesu wanakujali. Hello yo, hello yo. Those are the only Maasai things in that song. And it's because that's the only thing we knew. Right. So that's why it came like Ali Kufa Juyami. Hey Baba. So hello yo, hello yo. So since then, uh Kambia Masai in Kambia Mutua, eh man said to na record you call us cash. Ibeweza. To Lienda studio asubui, it was on a Sunday. Ka record uh chorus yen yen de likumebaki. After Kulikwana gig, to lienda nayo. To kai perform. Crowd went wild. To kajua ba. Ishare kodiwa iko safi so ni kuachilia sasa. Ah, ta iko safi. We were just doing it. We, right. we, we I think 
since we started uh, our careers, we realized we don't have time. Right. We don't have time to waste. We have to do it now. Mm. So sit to record. Just call your boy. Nyaje. Naweza pata time kesho. One hour to Buddha. One hour. Niko sawa. We went laid that chorus song became so good. And uh, I think upon the only saini wana sakata. Right. So that started my career as a, as a as an artist. Kabisa. In the limelight. Right. Because before that, eh, hey, nilikuwa nime struggle. Una struggle na huku back. Na sasa hiyo 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 struggle. I want I want just to spend some 2 minutes on it because you see 9 to 12 songs means this. You've taken your time to write. Yeah. You've taken your time to produce. You've taken your time to record. And you do mm. all these things with the hope. Yeah. Itakubali. Itafly. Yeah. Uh, it's it's song next to song your yeah. 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 And yeah. I would yeah. imagine every song you put your hope on. Yes. Then you have to say, yes. Then you have to say, yes. Then you have to say, yes. Your pili doesn't give you that outcome. There are five, six. What keeps you going in moments like those? Because I know there are many of them. You know, nine is almost a full album. So nine, eh? I think it was December. We had a, I think our first show ever to invite you. It was Catholic University. Right. To go to Sanikaza. But one of my boys was there. Boys wangu kutoka kitambo. Guess who? Ekodida. Mm-hmm. So me and Ekodida were performing. Cinema boys to Najuana mm-hmm. because he used to come. Alikuwa ametoka ku shoot video ya Nikona Reason mm. in Sakata mm. and I was signed in Sakata so mm. tulisaidia ku shoot video ya Nikona Reason mm. so tume invite hii gig tumepata la Buddha eh, ni aje huku tunakill so tunatesa <laughs> leo tuna <laughs> control what <laughs> I remember ni little stage ka perform kapigwa makofi na watu watatu <laughs> eko dida uh, ule boy mwenye alikuwa ame to invite see you na see you partner out <laughs> eh katoka eko dida pia akapanda na niko na reason eh si wote tulibuiwa bana hiyo show tulitoka tu hivyo so me and eko dida were booed from that show and you know these are the stories we went you never get home. Mm. eh tulienda home tu yani tuko usijui tumechoka tu <laughs> hata roho imechoka ah manze hiyo show ime hata bala Unajua. And then uko ni mbali bana. Uko si nipandeza ukienda na Ronga. Right. Catholic Catholic yeah, yeah, University. Catholic Unico hiyo pande. Yeah. Eh yeah. mwanzo yeah, tulirudi tu yani tumeboeka mbaya. But you see we knew we had something special. I'm so glad you're sharing this uh, because you know most most people just show you the success side of things. Yeah. Hardly do we talk about the struggle side of things. Yeah, mwanzo. Yeah. And sometimes we give uh, an impression that is not real bana. Ni fiti watu wajue bana hata umebuiwa before tumebuiwa bana that didn't stop you from going man eh yeah, but you can see years later mimi na iko nyet kwa wapi ndio nyinyi hao yeah. wenye kusema mabazu five time ah. groove award winner man Humili- has gone through bowing humility you- <laughs> <laughs> but yes um, i think you you have to be ready you have to be ready every dream comes with its own challenges mm. And I think for me, um, I found a lot of challenges in my path because I was the first to do a lot of things. Um, one of the reasons why my songs were always up tempo mm. it's because I was a dancer. Mm. And when I was a dancer, I, we guys didn't have songs we can dance to because the only dance songs is Osi Kuzilikwa Kina Shanda Paul, Kina Sean Paul, Nati OK. Those were the only my dance hall mm. was na Cheso. Mm. And then Bridi kakuja ya kina papa san. Mm. So when we as dancers were looking for songs we can go dance our catalog was very limited. Right. Tulikuwa right. tunaenda gig unapata all the dance groups have performed like four songs back to back. Kila dance group literally mm. was performing the same songs mm. back to back. Mm. And I had a as I said I'm a problem solver. Right. So I was like I need to we need songs that are from our artist kabisa that can do right that can match up to this and the only person that was doing that your time ilikuwa ni Rafton mm. and the bad thing about Rafton ni alikuwa na chill ya hit alafu ana disappear mm. alikuwa na ona oba zote mm. na una get mm. so when i started like getting uh, studio time and all that uh, most of my songs were tuned to dancing 
tuned to dancing. That's why Eba Baba was a dance song. Mm. Even after that Mumba Baba was a dance song. Kuna ngoma iko in between hapo inaitwa macho. Right. It was a slower song but it was a dance all rhythm. Mm. I get. Mm. So it has always it was a direction for me to solve the problem of dance songs because we didn't have back then. Right. Size is called too much. Na ma dance groups ko zimeanza ku come up. Yes, 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 so yes all yes. over man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it 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 was a I, I, I found a lot of challenges because even the Maasai thing, I, it's not one time that I took a song to a DJ. Mm. It's not one time. It's a, it was a process. By the time to <laughs> receive a word, I took one of your excitement. Literally. By the time we guys were winning with Mbaba, yes. Mbaba was my first big award. Right. By the time we guys were winning with Mbaba, I took one of your excitement because we guys had been through so much. You'd been too beaten. Eh, hey, bana. I told you, we may win. Somebody God, man. God, man. Nashkur. Una tembea kuna ichukua. Eh, yeah, but uh, there was a lot of affirmations along the journey. Right. A lot of affirmations. Right. Yeah. Right. And and those affirmations must have kept you going. Have to. You have to. And then it's also, I think, in the Bible, eh? In the Bible, Sidika knew on the Bible Sana, mind, Sana, okay. Sana. Go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. In the Bible, Rest. there's a man called Paul. Right. Paul went through a lot right. of stuff. Right. Paul was put in oil. Paul was beaten. Prison. Eh. Hey, mob justice. Right. In it was shipwrecked. My shipwreck, yes. Um salipitia a lot. Do you know why? Uh-huh. There's a story in the Bible where Paul heard the angels speaking. Mm. Aliskia conversations with a heaven. Mm. And what happened is God told him, now because you know the secrets of the heaven and you know how good life afterwards is, mm. your life will be harder. Mm. So I think it's the same thing with me. Because mm. I, I knew how good this music can be, this, this dances can be, how good the uh, music scene can get. Mm. And what that did, it made me a pioneer to a lot of things. Nikiingia kuko na mtu wana Masai. I was the first one. People didn't understand for a long time. Right. And I took a lot of backlash. Right. I wasn't played in stations. Stations will kuna peleka. I think at a lazma was a new kwa mesema pevi. Kuna stations will kuwa peleka ngoma wana chukua tu wana chukua bina po kiona. That happened for life. Kwanza angu ilikuwa angu ilikuwa angu ilikuwa angu ilikuwa mbae. Unakumbuka niko high school eh. Right. Not even high school sasa. Temi ya mbaba. When, I, when we guys recorded mbaba, I remember yep. I... At that time, I had like 400 shillings. Right. Nikasema manze ingo meitafika aje i station bana. Kwa na sasa ndapiga sabu. Dato kata. Kaa west is far from town. Back then, barabara ija tengenezo. So from kaa west to town ni so. So napiga sabu kutoka hapa di town ni so. Na kurudi ni so. So ingine. But sasa kutoka tao kuenda yo station. Eh, itabidi ni metembea. Iko pande za waiyaki we. Nikisama tu hivyo na joto. Tunashika nisa tu. Iko mm. waiyaki we. Mm. So, since I had 400 shillings, I took 100. Hadi tao. Miambili nika ingia kwa mtu wa kuprint CDs. CD ni 50 bob. Moja kuprint mm. ni 50 bob. Mm. Nika print CD mbili. Kasama hizi ndio napeleka. Na haka niyekea ngoma na video hapo ndani ya CD. Nika track. Hadi hiyo place. Mm. Reception to Kakalisho up a one hour to Kakalisho two hours. You can go to eh, Ikafka four. No, Madame reception calls them not a nini. Come, eh, Sinua Sani. And then the funny thing is, I wasn't alone. Kumbe, we had like two other guys here who were artists. Come, Sinua Sani, we got a couple drop two in Bangu. You know, a kind as a chess way. Some more, eh. Jazza is in Makaratas in any couple of forms in Kanza Kujaza. Alafu katikati yao kujaza nini nikenda kumaliza kusema oh, ni gospel. Kambia ni gospel. Haka niambizo atucheza ngi gospel. Oh no. Rika rusho kwa hiyo bin. <sighs> so hato wezi muambia ni rudishezo CD basi. Oh, kama unatupa unajua. So I went home feeling really bad. Because I had to walk all the way. Back to Kahawe. So you can imagine the conversations I'm having on my mind. So I've, I always tell people I've paid the price. Sometimes it's it's one of those things, man. You just have to respect the <laughs> house. <laughs> but it's a it's a journey, man. It's a journey. It's a journey. So same thing to just came back home, nini nini, and just believed in the music, man. 
So ukiniambia five time groove awards winner ume umekapitia jo yeah. umekapitia but every time you then win and you reflect on what the journey has been how what, what goes through your mind in those moments um first of all every song has a story behind it mm. and i think i told you this off air off air yes every song has a story behind it mm. so when a song wins it becomes special because people don't know the story behind it right like mbaba we guys used to tembea uko tembea kutoka kawe study upande za nini rosters uko sa all sorts mm. tunaenda ku record ngoma i think we walked tulikuwa na 40 bob konfuko hiyo siku we walked with my producer tuka record ngoma tuka kula mandazi nne tukabakisha mbao ya mandazi za kurudi tukatembea tena hadi mtaani that's how we recorded mbaba There are some people in that song that you guys never even know. There's a guy called Jack. Mm. Jack was my boy. Alikuwa tu yende amefanya chorus, the bass part of it. Yende mm. alitoa hiyo part ya mbaba, the bass. Mm. Aliongezea layers of vocals. Mm. Anyway, guys paid the price, bana. And I wasn't alone. That's the bad thing about people. People think that we guys made it alone. Mm. No. There are some people who actually believed in our visions mm. and uh, they dedicated their time mm. to help us get where we are. Mm. So when we guys win awards it's just a reminder that you're on the right path. Right. Yeah. Right. And and really you know we enjoy the song not knowing that for you to record that song you had to walk all the way man. No one knows man. No one knows. Si tuna enjoying tuna tunasikia tu poa. But then story na ishi hapo. Kuna kuanga na conversation kwa corporate that client ajali. Unajua. So you are the one to set the price even for your for your performances and all that lazima uweke bei because when do unajua how much you invested in it right, in the first right, place right yeah. right but really uh, when you set the price does the market correctly respond to that no but in time they do over time they it do. depends if you're a dope artist yep. they will yep if you're a dope artist and you're actually culture shaping eh? right they will unajua Because Pia, uh, some people overprice themselves. Right. That's a fact. Right. I used to overprice myself a lot. Yep. And people have to understand it's because I put so much in it. Right. right. There are some songs that I invested over one, 180, 180k mm. and they never came out. Mm. But people don't know. Right. I have a song called My Baby. <laughs> Do you know about it? No, I don't know about it. You see? Right. So I have like three projects like that. Right. Projects where we've invested so much and it never came out. Right. So when we guys are uh, continuing to push the music, the brand and everything, people have to understand that for us also we always have to dig deeper in our pockets mm. to bring good content out. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. You 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 refer to some time when you took a break just to find out what is not working for my music. Oh yeah, and that was the first time in right, yeah, the yeah. first time. Mm. And I I don't know and, and and it's profound because then it also means that then in any craft really yeah. you've got to keep evaluating. You have to. And have find to. out what works what does not work, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, shortly after that and mba ba ikatoka there. Yeah, because even back then I, I had I had issues, man. Me I think people have to understand to metoka ghetto, but me I used to have dreadlocks back in 2006 to 7 to it yo nikimaliza high school i went straight to dreadlocks. getting two dreadlocks but they were ugly na hakuna mtu angeniambia eh ni una get unajua usi ni wabazu but they were ugly right. na get and right. i used to have spectacles right. niko na va specs hapa hivi na get but right. no one used to tell me something so i think by taking time off yeah, mm. a lot changed you got to reflect a lot changed right because i shaved my dreadlocks yep. is back then that mm. was after two years mm. Because also back then uh, the church was really conservative mm. and also the high schools were conservative mm. so you couldn't even do high school missions with when you when you yeah. yeah it's not one time in your list up kwa mlango tukambo ah vijana wataribu watoto wetu mbini nyumbani una get so it, it i i have gone phases of learning mm. una get learning mm. and unlearning una mm. get so mm. uh, your time i had to shave my locks Um, ni go back to factory settings factory settings so zangu ni afro <laughs> yes i always have hair right then, so nilikuwa na afro mm. ndio tukafanya time ya mbaba right oh ye baba mbaba mm. uh, the dreadlocks came back in 
2014 ndio mm-hmm. nikarudisha dreadlock mm-hmm. sasa unaona tena Zime, ziko tumekata last year right last year ndio nilishavtana dreadlocks mm. na sasa hivi unaona zinaanza kurudi so ziona, ziona. It's, it's it's a phase that you have to evolve mm. and you have to take time off right like even for me to shave it's because i've taken time off right to, to the last three years i haven't done interviews it's because i've taken time off to learn and unlearn right you learn a lot about yourself you unlearn some things also i think there's a problem where if ume grow your life ya shida uh, you they say that if every pro- problem to you looks like a nail eh, you will always use a hammer when i get so i had to unlearn even my my what do you call it perspectives about money mm. perspectives about um, salvation mm. you have to unlearn a lot of things mm. first of all if you just understood how much god loves you mm. all these things the hairstyles the nini tattoos those are non factors mm. when it comes to how much god loves you mm. get mm. so those are things that i had to take time off to understand and uh, just come to terms because as we said once you learn who you are not it's equally as important as learning who you are right yeah right right mm-hmm. but uh, you, you mentioned the last three years men have been a bit of a challenging three years for you yeah and uh, you've gone through different seasons over the last three years okay and uh, and i want us to talk about it really i want us to talk about it because it's going to help someone Yes, sure. uh, because then sometimes we know you are the limelight. Yeah, man, but we do not know sometimes you can slide. <laughs> Ukitesa. Na ndio tukitesa pale. Ma, ma stadium. Kabisa bana. Yeah. Yeah. But <coughs> we were just talking off here and uh, it 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 almost hit a point of depression for you. It did. It did it was a really low point. Um and always tell I really try and help people who are going through depression because the the bad thing about depression is sometimes it makes you unproductive right. in a ku make always fanya work so always fanya nini and that mm. thing is really bad mm. because what happens is poverty strikes mm. na get mm. uh, but for me depression came from something called black tax i don't know if you know black what tax. black tax is T- tell us what that is man. 